Good morning, guys. Today is a very special day. Today is February the 23rd, which is going to be the first day of 2021 looking for snakes. Oh, and it's also my birthday today, so drop some happy birthdays in the comments and let's get out there, see what we can find. It's kind of a windy day, which means filming like this is not going to be super easy today, but I'm going to try my best. When the boys arrive, I'll explain what we're doing here. Obviously, you kind of know the basic idea, but there's more to it than that, so I'll tell you in a minute. Guess who's back? Hey back again. This is the first time we hung out since Corfu, right? Yeah. yeah. And the first time I think we've ever been to this spot together. Yeah, yeah, we haven't. Yeah. So this will be fun. And what we're doing here, essentially, is uh, in the spring, male adders emerge basically when it first gets warm and sunny. So uh, we're hoping we'll be able to see that in action. Uh, this place looks way different from when we were coming here last summer. There's almost no vegetation, um, which means visibility is gonna be like way better, which is definitely a good thing as well. Seconds after I stopped filming, I approached those small patches of brambles you could see in the video and spotted the welcome sight of the first snake of 2021, this adult male adder. To be honest, I didn't expect to see one in such low vegetation, but this was a great surprise and a fantastic start to the day. I will voice over most of these big camera video clips because it was far too windy and talking while filming makes me shakier. All right, what a start and a good birthday present for me right there. Hopefully we can see some more. We did see more. Only minutes after the last one, I saw this awesome melanistic adder from afar and grabbed a few long distance photos before filming. Alas, as we tried to creep closer, it rapidly fled for cover, something it seemed like every adder did on this particular day. So I'm feeling like maybe the wind that we're experiencing today has a bit to do with why we're not seeing so many in such numbers and more sort of like hardy individuals out there. Uh, but we're gonna keep going, we've still got some hours to go and uh, I'm really enjoying it out here. To be honest, I've missed this a lot and it's, yeah, it's great to be out. After seeing another individual, which fled before any of us could take a photo or film, I approached a perfect looking bank and there was another lone male sunning itself. Similar to the others, the angle was not ideal and the head was barely visible. While it was great to see our first snakes of the year, this had been quite an unlucky day for sightings. All right, well, it still stands as four. Um, we saw a couple of the ones that we saw before on the way back, but that's all. And it's getting kind of like chilly as clouds coming over. So we're probably going to wrap up today and come back a, another day, see if we can find some more community basking, hopefully when it's less windy. All right, back out, same spot, slightly later in the day, slightly colder than the last time, but uh, way less windy. So I'm hoping that will change things positively. But uh, let's get out there, and let's see what we can find. Okay, so just after getting onto the common, spot the first adder of the day. I'll zoom in on it with my phone. You'll be able to see it. It'll be blurry, but I'll kind of highlight it if you can't clearly see it. Very dark male adder, solitary, coiled up at the bottom of just by those bushes there. Okay, so this one moved and is just sitting there in the edge of the grass, staring at us and let me get right up to it in my shadow. Don't want to go any closer because I'm pretty sure it's going to bite me. But this is nice little in-situ video of a European adder. All right, I'll let it go. All right, so uh, that was our first adder of the day. Um, new individual. I've never seen that one in, or one in that actual area before. And a really good start. I'm very optimistic that we can see more. Okay, so we reached my favorite spot for looking for them where we saw the black adder last time. And it's a real treat because you can see the black adder over there right next to a normal sort of um, morph male. And there's actually another one just over here. I'll get out my big camera and film some slightly better footage in a second. But this is what I was really hoping to see. Little did I know how much of a treat we were actually in for. After this pale individual moved off, the melanistic male cruised right up to the other individual on the far right and settled down right on top of it. This communal basking was exactly what I had wanted to see, but I didn't expect to see it with such unique individuals. 
I'll quickly cut to the audio displaying my feelings at the time. This is a perfect observation here though. The black, also known as melanistic adders, are rare throughout most of the United Kingdom. For example, I saw around 50 adders in 2020 and only one melanistic individual. This one is especially nice as well, showing no signs of patterning at all. The individual it was mostly covering is special too, but I'll get to that later. Wow, we're so lucky. I saw these people over here and I was really worried that they disturbed the ones because this is usually the best place for them. But we came over and they were all sitting there and then we got to see the melanistic adder cross in front of us in the open and go bask right on top of one of the more normal ones for this area, which was so cool. So three basking really close, including two basking on top of each other communally, which is what I really wanted to see what I said last time. I had a feeling that today would be perfect and I'm still looking at them here. They, they, I can switch it around the second. The black one's just moving around. It moved off the other one, but we're really getting to see a show here and I can't understate how lucky you are. Yeah, so the black one, you can see sort of middle left and the other one and the one here moved off um, a couple minutes ago it will probably be back out in a second but i was right it came back out in perfect view so i shot some more video of it this was the smallest individual scene and was quite cool looking but was unfortunately overshadowed by the two next to it on that note after the melanistic one moved further into the bush i got a good look at the one it was covering and realized how cool it actually was in the video, I describe it as a normal moth, but I only mean normal for this small part of the heath, where a lot of the males are hypermelanistic like this. But this one is exemplary, with the golden brown flanks contrasting so strongly with the black. The fun did not stop here, however. After leaving that small area and rounding a corner, I spotted another melanistic individual perched in an absolutely picture-perfect way amongst some bushes, and it allowed me to get low to the ground for some less shaky video, something I'd been hoping to secure all day long. This amazing animal allowed us to film and get photos until it slowly cruised off into the bushes. It was getting late, so we thought this would be the end of the excitement, but we were so wrong. So I literally just filmed this one disappearing, got up to walk off, looked over, and I can see a second one. Where am I looking? there, a second black one perched at the top of a rock amongst this vegetation, so two. And then, after filming that, I just noticed in the video that there's a normal one sitting right next to it as well, like a normal moth. So that's crazy, we just added another two to our count for the day, another melanistic one, and we just didn't notice these the whole time. Because of the manner in which we found these, this had to be my favorite observation of the day and very interesting that one is yet another melanistic male, bringing my total scene at this site in the last year to four, emphasizing how strong the melanism is within this London population. We've seen scientific evidence for moths and other animals becoming much darker within urban environments. Could that be the case with adders too? I'm not so sure, but I spent ages with these two as they look so great sitting atop that rock in the late afternoon sun. All right, looking at these two adders, the melanistic one, the normal one on this rock, I think it's time to wrap up this video. It's getting late, so we're gonna go. If we see anything on the way out, we'll film it, but this is just a great way to finish it. It's been a fantastic day. We saw loads and loads of adders on our own accord, and we got to see them basking communally, which was my main target. So it's been fantastic. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know all that, and um, I'll snap one more photo before I go. To round things off, we passed by one of the adders I'd seen the previous day out, and unlike last time, it was sitting perfectly for photos and video, really summing up how this day had gone for us. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this insight into some of London's least expected wildlife. There will be lots more exciting videos from England this spring, as well as the final Corfu episode coming soon. So make sure you subscribe so I can hit 1k by summer. Peace!